Hi, this is Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I am here to do a reading for Aquarius. This is for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, and the timing is fluid, okay? So, I guess we're going to take that one. What do we have for Aquarius? Harp, great happiness. So focusing on your happiness. I did zoom that in. I want to maybe turn it, zoom back out. Dog close up. Pleasure with a close friend. Peacock. Ooh, beware of great pride. It's kind of like an ego card, you know. You gotta beware of, you know, pride. We're all equal. That's just a friendly reminder. It looks don't mean everything. I know that first impressions count, you know, and you know there's judgment that is involved. But this card says a lot. Beware of great pride. You're probably looking really good. That's my guess. That is my guess. Is that you're looking really good and you may just need to beware of, you know, be humble. Be, that's it. Be humble. To me, humbleness is more attractive than anything else. Uh, okay. Younger woman. So we have a younger woman involved. Somehow. Karma. It is upright. So there's always two sides to karma. It's kind of like the justice system. Somebody wins and somebody loses. Right? As far as the justice system goes. Right? And that's what that is. As far as the law goes, there's a winner and there's a loser. Somebody's not telling the truth. Somebody is, somebody isn't. Anyhow, this is karma. So there's some sort of karma that is playing out. There's some sort of karma that is playing out this week. It has to do with a decision. It may have to do with legalities. It may have something to do with a contract. This is a balancing of the scales. So in it, because it's upright, that would signify to me that something is prob some sort of decision is probably going to go in your favor. But, we do have a lot of cross watchers, and you know, if you're the cross watcher, it's, I mean, it could be for you, because there's, there's, there's two sides to every situation, and there's a winner and there's a loser. There's a decision that is being made this week, or whenever this resonates. The decision could be made by the court of law, you know, the, the uh, worldly law, the justice system. Or it could be being made from above, okay? Universal law. Something is happening this week that is driven by past actions, okay? Something that somebody has done is being judged, okay? It's interesting that I mentioned humbleness, so I don't know if it has anything to do with ego and it could be somebody that you're dealing with that is very egotistical maybe this person has broken the law anyhow i don't know what's going on but let's see what's happening there's pleasure with a close friend i wonder if somebody i mean you gotta think about that i mean what just came to my mind i wonder if somebody had done something against the law that has to do with a close friend i mean i don't know, I don't know. anyhow let's keep going ah fantasy land so there is some sort of illusion here. This is Disneyland. What do you get at Disneyland? You get a little bit of fun that costs you a whole lot. Mmm.
you need to make a decision about what you are investing in. Is it worth it? And that's what I just heard. Is it an illusion? Is it real? What's it going to cost you? What do we have for Aquarius? There is illusion here and there's justice. There's a decision that is being made. There's, there's probably some truth because this is truth and this is fantasy. And there's a younger woman involved. And typically younger people, no offense if you're a younger person watching this, they don't have enough life experience to be humble. Some do, some do. Ten of Wands, Ten of Wands is overwhelmed, carrying a heavy weight, uh, trying hard to prove something, unwilling to let go, carrying a heavy burden. So there is, I feel like there is a younger woman here that is carrying a heavy burden. She's carrying a heavy weight. We may also have a man here that is carrying a younger woman, you know. He's, he's um, holding on to a younger woman. Whatever's going on, we have an overwhelmed. We have an overwhelmed. This is too much to carry. It's time to let this go. This is weighing you down. This could literally be weight. Like somebody needs to really focus on their weight. I also feel like we have somebody here that is ignoring a situation because as I'm going to pull these cards, this person is looking away. I can already tell we have somebody here that is, is holding on to something and they're ignoring something. Ah, wow. Look where that just landed. So we definitely have a contract here. We have a legal issue or karma. These are, we have double karma. We have karma for sure, okay? Uh, justice being served, a decision being made. Could be a legal de decision, could be news of legalities, a legal contract, um, a, a fair and just decision being made that is best for everybody involved. This is a rebalancing of the scales. Somebody's gonna get what they deserve, good or bad good or bad a very big decision is being made this week or whenever this resonates this is um this has to do with um integrity doing the right thing final decision truth a lot of some sort of truth can't be hidden. It, somebody's been holding on to something. They've and it feels like they've been ignoring it. But you can't ignore the truth. Okay, the truth is the truth. That's the way it goes. Ah! Exactly. Take a look at that. Right under fantasy land. This is false. This is fantasy. So somebody is definitely in illusion. I can't make this shit up. <laughs> I mean, these cards are lining right up unbelievable this is a shock it is a surprise it's a major disruption of a false sense of security somebody has been you know that is like it's a false foundation it's a false sense of security it looks really good it's really fun for a fucking minute that's about it and you can't wait to get the hell out of there because it costs you so much and you're just like oh my god anyhow uh, tower, tower, major disruption, false sense of security, major shakeup, uh, light being shed on the truth. Somebody has been lying, they've been in delusional, they've been in fantasy land, they've been uh, in a false sense of security. Boom! This is big, okay? It is very, 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 very big. This is. This is like coming out of fantasy land. <laughs> this is a rude awakening. Rude. This is like, oh my God. Um, I wonder if somebody's getting thrown out of fantasy land. This is, this is like a shock. It is. It's like a reality check. 
It is a reality check. I wonder if somebody's getting caught doing something because we do have pleasure with a close friend and we have this tower. I wonder if somebody's being forced to move, get out, get out, get out. This could be somebody's taking their stuff and they're leaving. They're in, in, in it. They could be forced to leave. This is forced and this person's like headed away. This is a final decision. So there's a final decision that is being made. Somebody has been in fantasy land all of a sudden and this is all of a sudden the truth comes out and boom. Definitely has to do with a woman, obviously it does. We may have another woman here. It could be a third party. This is the Queen of Wands is somebody that takes action, acts impulsively sometimes, very feisty, very fiery. Um, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. We also have Libra here. We have Aries here and Scorpio. Um, I just shuffled a little bit. We got the Emperor on the bottom. We have Aries a few times. I'm not sure if you're dealing with an Aries. This is somebody that's putting some plans in action. This is a, this is a, this, you see the plans? Okay, this is somebody that has some sort of plans. Maybe they saw this coming. Um, this could be a judge, a ruler, a father, a masculine, a husband, a person that is in a position of authority that is making a decision that is best for everybody involved. Okay? This is definitely doing something suddenly. This is very spontaneous. This is taking charge. Somebody's going to be doing something. It feels like they've, they've, they, this is, ba be ready, be ready, battle ready, be ready. This is Mars energy. This is Mars energy. Be ready for a battle. Be ready. You may have to defend yourself. I'm just being honest. This is like fight. This is fight. I'm serious. And this is, you got to be ready. You got to be ready. This is like a commander, right? You got to be ready. Be ready. Be ready. There's some sort of illusion that everything is coming, going to come crash. The illusion, the, the fantasy, the whatever is going to come crashing down. Okay, this is, this is a major disruption of an illusion. Okay, somebody's been in fantasy land. Not anymore. Uh-uh. Disruption. The truth, the rebalancing. Uh... <sighs> Ah, Knight of Swords. Now, Knight of Swords is typically somebody charging in out of in nowhere, right? This is somebody, I gotta do this. I gotta do this right now. I must do this. Putting plans in action again. So this is somebody that is coming in. They're rushing in. They, they have some sort of, this is like a man on a mission. They have some sort of probably information because the Ace of Swords is the truth. It is information. Somebody's going to be taking a new approach. They're going to be taking down a false sense of security. There is some sort of heartbreak here. This is heartbreak, it's sadness. There could also be a woman here that uses her emotions to get her own way. She may see herself as a victim. She may be emotionally manipulative. She cries all the time. You know, she uses those tears to get what she wants. Um, oh, goodness gracious. There is some sort of sadness here. Uh, We have a warrior. This is somebody that doesn't have any fear that's coming in. This person is going to be causing the shakeup. Could be a Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, but then again, we have Aries a few times. We also have a water sign, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Somebody, um, this is a shock. Both these cards are a shock. Comes out, This is a rude awakening, comes out of nowhere. This could even be the authorities. I wonder if the th authorities are coming in or somehow the authorities get involved. This is a wake-up call of somebody is getting a wake-up call. Mm. Four of Swords reverse. Four of Swords reverse is restless energy. Impulsive energy. Not wanting to wait. Somebody is acting impulsively. It's like they don't want to take time out. They don't, they don't want to be alone. They, they, they need to heal, but they, they can't. They're restless. 
they're they're fed up so i feel like we do have somebody here that is fed up they're not wanting to wait they're going to be doing something aggressive there is definitely aggressive behavior here this person has this idea and they have to run with it somebody gets this idea they get this notion they want to shake things up they're going to cause problems they're restless you know they probably they may be delusional this person may be delusional they're in some sort of illusion there it's a false sense of security you know there could be some lies that are being exposed for sure for sure if somebody's been lying there could definitely be some exposure i feel like we have somebody here that is restless they're fed up it could be another woman there's i feel like it is a woman Okay, I feel like it is a woman that is looking for attention. She's not getting the attention. She's in her feelings. She can't master her feelings. Um, she's probably hysterical. You know, she's out of control. She may be delusional. Um, she's, she's probably uh, holding on, unwilling to let go. She may throw some sort of fit or something. Ah, oh, five of wands on the bottom. That is conflict. It's tension. So you are going to be dealing with some tension. This is somebody that may be very combative. Uh, they they thrive on competition. They uh, don't like to lose. They're unwilling to let go by the looks of things. You do have some competition here for sure. Uh, I feel like you you need to be get yourself prepared for some strife. I think that you're going to be in a tense situation with somebody that is ca causing havoc. There is somebody here that is causing havoc. I, and, and, and if you're the cross watcher, it could be the Aquarius. I feel like who there is at least one person here that is not mentally stable. Okay, right here. Not mentally stable. This person is delusional. They are in some sort of fantasy land and they feel like they have to do something because they're not thinking clearly. Okay, this person is probably, I wonder if they're going to end up in jail or they're going to end up in court or, you know, I don't know, they're going to end up somewhere. I feel like they are going to end up somewhere. They're, they may be taken away or something like that because of their delusions. Um, King of Pentacles reversed, very unstable. Um, major disruption, forced. The King of Pentacles reversed is typically somebody that is very clever, very cunning, very egotistical, very greedy, very material, materialistic. Um, unstable, irresponsible, unfaithful, uses their money to get their own way, uses their money to push people around. Whoever this person is or uses their status, you know, to get what they want. There is somebody here that is going down and they're going down fast, put it that way. There's somebody that is coming in. This is somebody that has some information that is taking down somebody that is unstable. This person is greedy and selfish. It's interesting. Beware of great pride. I saw that. So it may not be you. There is somebody here that has a very big ego. This this person does have a big ego. They're, they're money hungry, whatever. And they may have a big house. They may have a big, uh, you know, their foundation looks great on the outside. All of a sudden things crumble and they crumble fast. Okay. Um, the moon reversed, the moon, re and, and, and we could be dealing with Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. I, we did have Aries quite a bit. I think that we have Aries the most and Libra. Okay. Uh, we may also have Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. We also have Pisces and Cancer here. All is not as it seems. Definitely something is going to be revealed. Okay. Something that was hidden is going to be revealed. Um, something that was below the surface is about to pop up and it's about to pop up out of nowhere. This could be some sort of nightmare. It feels like it's a nightmare. Um, and we may have somebody here that's been haunted by the past. They can't let it go. They're, they've reached a point where, and they're obsessed. I feel like we do have an obsession here. Um, I feel like we have somebody here that, um, is definitely delusional. Okay. They may have some sort of mental issue. Just being honest. I mean, I have to be honest. Um, I feel like they can't master their emotions. They may do something um, to cause chaos, but I feel like it, whatever it is that they do, doesn't go in their favor. Whoever the person is that is 
has got this idea, got this big idea, right? This person has a big idea. They, they're like, oh, I'm gonna go do this. I'm gonna do this, I'm gonna go take this down. This is like revenge, right? They're delusional, they're delusional. I feel like it, it uh, comes back to them, for lack of a better word, it uh, bites them in the ass, put it that way. It gets them in trouble. It's like, the, it's like, uh, that's what I feel. I also feel like you need to be careful of somebody coming into your life that doesn't have anything to offer you. Make sure that you are not wearing rose colored glasses. There could be somebody that is coming towards you, male or female. This person doesn't have anything to offer you. They're, they're unfaithful. They're not stable. They're not secure. They may even have some mental issues, you know. They may be selling you a false sense of security. This is illegal dealings. They're selling you something. This is selling, you know, giving you new ideas, you know, taking a new approach. They're selling you fantasy, you know, which is causing, going to cause restlessness. I think that you really need to be careful, okay? Be careful. Be careful. Um, there is definitely an illusionist here. There's no doubt. Maybe this person, you know, has been sold the illusion. But this is, this is a, a release of fear. This is uh, lies being exposed. Um, the truth coming out. Um, I would say get prepared for some uh, conflict. Good luck.